Hello and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. My name is Rory. I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I pick apart the play on the court. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. In this video, some very good players. It was a pleasure watching some of the shots they hit, especially one shot hit by one player that I do not see hit very often. You've got to take a look and see exactly what he does. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know if you see players hit this shot. Thanks to the YouTube channel KML Pickleball for posting this video. Let's go. Here comes the first serve. And he served the ball about five feet out of the court. Let me be very clear. The first point in a game is just as important as the last point. You've got to be focused at the start of the game. He might have just had a little lapse of concentration there, but I am sure he is going to do better. When you miss your serve, you give up your opportunity to score a point. Okay, so now he misses a return of serve. That's worse than missing a serve because in this instance, at this point, he gave his opponents a free point simply because he could not get the return of serve into the court. That is the worst mistake a player can make in pickleball. But I know he's going to do better. Oh, got her right in the stomach. The ball was popped up too high. And a good shot by the player who didn't get off to the greatest start. Look at this shot. He's pumped up about it. He should be. I do not see that shot hit very often. Take a look at what he does here. I don't even know what to call that. Maybe some kind of backwards backhand flick. I don't know. I am going to slow it down so you can see exactly what he did. But just a fantastic shot. Here's the slow motion version of it. Here comes the ball. It's not a backhand flick. It is more of a forehand flick. As you can see what he does, he has his paddle perpendicular to the ground with a forehand here. So it's a forehand flick is what it is. And I mean, he just puts it right between the players. They were not expecting that. Maybe they were expecting the ball to go to their right or left. He hit it right down the middle. And I just love that shot. Let's see if he pulls this off other times during this game. Third shot drive. And powerful enough to where his opponent could not get it back over the net. Third shot dropped that time. So he has a very diverse game. Got into a firefight there. And the team in the far court now has control of the ball. Got the Ernie there. Out of the court. Nice play by all of the players. The tall player in the near court has a really good backhand in the uh, at the non-volley zone when they're dinking. Oh! Got him right in the face, I think. Hit him in the nose. And I really think that is why all players should wear protective eyewear. That could have been bad. Can't get her paddle on it. If she would have been closer to the non-volley zone, she could have taken that ball out of the air. But watch what happens here. Look where she is. She's in the transition zone. That was not a good enough shot to move all the way up. She just can't get it. The third shot has got to be better than that.
Nice reset. There's that shot again. He did it again. That time his opponent got it back. And she missed it, but let's go back and take a look. Watch what he does here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the first time he did it, it was perfect. That time it was hit right into his opponent's put away zone. I got to try that shot. But first, I got to figure out exactly what he's doing. I think that was going out of the court. Just the unforced error into the net. A quick timeout to tell you about my online pickleball store, pickleballprintables.com, where you will find the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. T-shirts, coffee mugs, tumblers, totes, caps, and kiss cut stickers. 65 clear, crisp, and clean designs to choose from. Use the coupon code YouTube and get 10% off your first order. Dink in style. Go to www.pickleballprintables.com or click the link in the description below. That's a good serve. Nice return. This point should be over. Oh my. They had him caught in the back of the court and they both go to get the ball. I think their paddles clicked. Look at that. And the ball goes right into the net. That's really the only chance the players in the back had because they were trapped beyond the service line. There's another uh, big mistake, missing a return of serve, giving their opponents a free point. Oh, what a shot. Good get. Can't quite get it over, but watch this get right here. This is really good. She does a backhand flick because the third shot has just popped up, but he gets that ball. But was never able to move forward. Missed the third shot drop. You're not going to make every one of them. Into the net. I don't know what the score is. I think the team in the near court is ahead. Just was hitting that shot when she was backing up to hit it. She cheated in here, and she just is falling back. When she hits this shot, she cannot get enough on it to get it over the net. The third shot is so important, the team who does better with it is going to win this game. That was really good. Yep, look at that. I mean, she gave up. She knew exactly what was coming. Watch this. She just didn't even try to hit the ball. She knew she popped it up too high. And at this level, if you just pop the ball up, it's usually put away just like that ball was. Just like that, you pop it up, you lose the point. Good shot. And that ball landed out of the court, almost had it fall in. Nice try. Oh, was that ball going out? Let's watch. Yeah, he took a full swing right there at the non-volley zone. That ball was going out of the court. But the player just puts up his paddle and feels like he needs to hit it back, and he hits it right into the net. What a third shot drive. Watch this ball dip down. He has so much top spin on this. Fantastic shot. Watch his swing. He really does not have much of a swing. It is all in his legs, the power that he gets on this ball. Watch this. Look at his swing right here. He's doing kind of like that C-shaped swing here. Boom. Perfect. Yeah. 
And she hits hers into the net. If you're going to hit a third shot drive, get it over the net and at least give yourself a chance. Was backing up when he hit that fifth shot. Take a look. He's backing up. Oh, the male player in the near court had the opportunity to put this ball away. He just waits too long to hit this ball. He should have reached out and hit the ball where it is right now. Instead, he lets it go a little bit lower, and when he hits it, he just kind of pops it up to his opponent, and his opponent puts it away. If he would have had his paddle out further in front of him, he could have taken that ball out of the air quicker and put it away. Nope. Nope. Come on. Oh, that was in the court. Good job with the lob. They hung in there. The players in the near court had numerous opportunities to put that ball away. They could not do it. Their opponents were at the service line, and they were able to continue to get the ball into the court. And the player hit a really good lob. They switch sides now. If they're playing to 15, that means the team in the near court has 8. If they're playing to 11, the team in the near court has 6. Great backhand flick. It was kind of hard to see, but just a really good shot. Missed the backhand third shot. There you go. It's just so important to be able to move up in pickleball. It's very difficult to be successful from behind the service line. Well, little mistake there. <laughs> Another instance where both players tried to get the ball and neither player could get it over the net. Nice fight by the player who just put the ball away because watch what happens here. He hits a really, he, right here, here comes the third shot. Look at this third shot drop, perfect. However, he does not move quick enough and he gets caught in the transition zone. Look where he is when he's having to hit this ball. If he would have rushed up further, he could have taken that ball out of the air. He did not, but he's able to defend right here. Very nice job of defending, tries to reset it, cannot do it, but he is in that athletic defensive position and he's able to get the ball back over the net. So a really good job here. And now he's got it. 7-6-1. Yeah, as you could see, his third shot drop was uh, taken out of the air by his opponent. He got stuck in the transition zone. He could not move all the way up, and he could not get the ball back over the net. Dropped it in that time. Whoa! I don't, I don't even think I could see that ball. Okay, so here's what happens. Look at this return to serve. Look how shallow it is. This guy is tall. He's winding up to just far away on this forehand third shot. And he's able to hit it so hard his opponent could not handle it. The return to serve was just too shallow. The team in the backcourt is now calling a timeout. I think the score is 9-6. to six. A 
talked earlier about if you pop it up, it's going to be put away. Nice backhand flick. Is that return deep enough? Nope. Nice competitive game with a player who hit a couple of shots that I find hard to describe, but shots that I think I am going to try to figure out and try to copy. So there you have it, a shot that I am going to try to add into my bag of tricks. To get it down, I'm going to have to practice, but hey, I love to practice. So I'll just practice until I feel confident enough to try it in a game. Do you think you could hit the shot, or is it a shot that you already have in your arsenal? Please let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below. That's it from Pickleball Pick Apart. I really hope you learned something from watching this video. And if you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And don't forget to check out my online pickleball store, pickleballprintables.com, where you will find the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. This is Rory saying, as always, thanks for watching and see you on the court.